Hi, welcome to this tutorial in which we're going to have a look at um, mathematics Olympiad type questions that involve um, the rules of indices or exponents. Okay, um, if you'd like to pause, have a go at question one and then come back and see if you've got the correct answer or the correct method or you've used a different method, you can see something different as well hopefully from me. I've written one rule down for you that may be useful to help you. No calculators are allowed. Um, have a go and then come back. I'm going to start it now. Okay? Right. It says 10 to the power of x equals 1 and 5 eighths and 10 to the power of y equals 8 over 13. Find the exact value of 10 to the power of x plus y. Well, if we think about lo the, uh, the rules of indices, if the base is the same, we add the powers. So here it looks like a is 10, m is x, and y is n. So this must have come from 10 to the power of x times 10 to the power of y. Remember the base has to be the same. Okay? All I have to do now is substitute 1 and 5 eighths for 10 to the power of x and 8 thirteenths for 10 to the power of y. To multiply these two fractions we need to change the first one, the mixed number, to an improper fraction or a top-heavy fraction. And one unit is how many eighths? It's 8 eighths. There are 5 more eighths to consider so that's a total of 13 is 1 and 5 eighths times 8 over 13 which is quite nice you can see now that this 8 will cancel with that 8 this 13 will cancel with that 13 to leave you the top 1 times 1 is 1 denominator 1 times 1 is 1 so the answer is 1 and the correct option is E I have no doubt you manage that quite easily Okay, and don't worry if you didn't. There's nothing wrong with that at all. It's just gaining experience in doing these type of questions. You may have used a different method, I don't know. Um, show it to somebody. Yeah. Okay. The next one, no answers given on purpose. Pause, have a go, and then come back and see how I've done it. There are two different ways that I know of, of doing this. Okay, we're told that A squared b is 10 and that a b squared is 20. Now I know you can do this by substitution but the, the best way forward in my opinion is to look at the answer it's a over b and you can see that I've got a squared if you like divided by a will give me an a. There are more a's at the top being multiplied by each other than in the denominator. There's only one a. And in the numerator there's one b, but there are two b's being multiplied by each other denominator. So the suggestion, the direction then, or the implication is that I should divide these two by each other. So divide the left hand side and divide the right hand side. Okay? Now you can see the numerator on the left hand side is a times a times b and the denominator is a times b times b. So hopefully now you can see what I was talking about more a's at the top. That a will cancel with this one and that b will cancel with this one. To leave us in the numerator well let's put that equal to 10 over 20. To leave us in the numerator a times 1 times 1 is a denominator 1 times 1 times b is b is 10 over 20 and it's a half 10 twentieths is a half if it was a multiple choice they may give you an option of 0 0.5 then you write it down or 50 percent or anything like that well I hope you manage that one the next one a bit more challenging but to help you I've put down a rule uh, to give you a clue five answers given to choose from okay pause and have a go 
uh, and don't be too concerned if you couldn't do it okay because at the beginning with Olympia type questions it takes time to get to know the techniques that you need to use the more practice or the more exposure you get the better you'll become and more confident the confidence is important of course so pause have a go and come back I'm going to start it now it says if a is 1 plus 2 to the power of n and b is 1 plus 2 to the negative n then b equals one of these expressions and you can see there's no n in the answers we're trying to find b in terms of a so I'm going to start with the b that I want to find it's 1 plus 2 to the negative n then I'll use the rule which I've written down a to the negative n is 1 over a to the n so this becomes 1 plus 1 over 2 to the power of n I'll call that um, equation 1 then I'll come back to the a equals 1 plus 2 to the n and I'll subtract 1 from each side to get 2 to the n the idea is to replace this 2 to the n by a minus 1 so I can now say from 1 b equals to 1 plus 1 over a minus 1 now for some people this may be a little bit more challenging the 1 we need to write these two and the set with the same denominator so I'm going to change that one and write a minus 1 over a minus 1 assuming a is not 1 then uh, it's acceptable to do that plus 1 over a minus 1 now if the denominator is the same we can add them together we can add the numerator and the denominator stays the same so that's what you get of course negative 1 plus 1 is 0 so what are we left with we're left with b equals to a over a minus 1 that would be the answer and the correct option to choose is in fact b okay I don't know if you manage that but that's much more challenging than the others and there is another way of doing it then I decided to give you a question like number two to try I've given you the answer I'm not going to go through that you can try using the technique I used in number two you're given that a squared b cubed is 15 and a cubed b squared is 60 show that b over a is equal to 0 0.25 have a go at it and see if you can get that answer okay well thanks for watching I hope you found that useful on to the next one. Take care.